This is the Kentucky Wesleyan College Men's Basketball Coaches Show. I'm Eric Holt here with the head coach, Happy Osborne. You guys played the purple and white scrimmage on Monday night. Tell me your evaluation of that scrimmage, Coach. Well, yeah, yeah, I thought we had a great time uh, you know, to support you know, 1,000, 1,200, 1,300 people there. Uh, I can't thank Moonlight Barbecue enough for donating the burger. That was too cool and too nice of them. thought our stingers were outstanding. Just you know, what great ambassadors are the Wesleyan Singers, and they're unbelievably talented. I had a chance to watch them Saturday night at Poston Sinatra, and, you know, I, I shake my head at just how talented some of our some of our students are. I mean, it's, it's incredible. We I thought it was a great event, a good time. Everybody had a good time. I loved our players. You know, we, we just wanted people to get to know us a little bit, and, you know, we got so many great fans, and, you know, we have such a new team. And I thought it was just a neat night, and it couldn't have gone any better. It was nice to get the recognition in for the other successful oh, athletics really cool. too. I'm so happy for Brent Holskall. I mean, nobody's paid more dues for this school than he has. And you know, six and four, the first winning season at Wesleyan since 1999. And you know, that coincides with the commitment that Jim Askins and President Darrell have given with the football program. You know, his scholarships have been increased, and uh, you know, he's still a long way from the limit that you need in D2. But, uh, you know, obviously, you know, he's shown that with even a partial commitment that he can get the job done. And, and I hope they add to that. Uh, best of luck to our volleyball team this weekend. They, you know, they uh, they also were recognized. And, uh, you know, they've got a big tournament. Obviously, GMAC tournament's what you play for. And, you know, good luck to those guys. And, you know, they've had a good year with the chance to make it a great year this weekend. And your guys' season starts Thursday, Tiff or Friday, Tiffin, Ohio. You guys play in the GLIAC GMAC Challenge, Tiffin on Friday, and Wayne State on Saturday. Oh, Give us a little scouting it's, report, it's, Coach. It's going to be on. Uh, that I have never felt more naked in a scouting report. Uh, the only thing online on Synergy is Tiffin's first two games last year. Uh, they have two exhibitions after our after our instead of before us. Uh, you know, I have no idea who they scrimmaged or how they did. I know the McCormick kid's a very good player, an all-conference player coming back for them preseason all-conference selection. And I, I know their point guard is a, is a really good player. And they have several guys, you know, really tall guys, athletic guys, the international kids that are good players. And, you know, it's you know we're playing at their place. I think it, it's small. You know, I'm sure it'll be an intimate atmosphere, uh, their first game. And, you know, I'm sure the crowd will be, you know, on us. And it, but it's a great test for our kids. Obviously, Wayne State, you know, with what they've done through the years, you know, they have a very good basketball program. And you know, I've uh, got total respect for them. They have a transfer, a Miller kid from Clarion that every 17 a game, uh, they're two at one guard and one wing is back. I'm very impressed with Toma and uh, Bishop. They're both they're both really good players. And, you know, we'll have a chance to at least watch them. Uh, Brett and Kyle will have a chance to watch them on Friday. KC and I got to, you know, we'll, our minds will be more on the task in hand. But that's, you know, when you're blessed to have four, three assistants and four counting Ty Young, you know, you can spread out a little bit, get some things done. So hopefully, you know, we can be prepared by Saturday night with a quick scout. All right, Coach, thank you very much. Thank you, Eric.